so here is exactly what we do take a number like 19 then divide it by everything from 1 to 19 each time check exactly if the result after division is equal to ceiling of the result that means if the result and the ceiling are same that means it's an integer because 7 is rounded off to 7 but 7.1 will be rounded off to 8 right so in that case if it is equal then that means they are perfectly divisible so total factors there is a counter variable called total factors increase that by 1 if total factors is 2 or count is 2 that means it's a prime number otherwise nope so let's go ahead and get this done so here in net beans there is no need to take an input I'll say int number equals to 7 we'll test for one number first then I'll have our for loop which is gonna divide it by 1 to 7 right so I'll say for int i is 1 i less than equals to 7 or I'll say i less than equals number i plus plus then I'll go ahead and I'll simply print the division before I do anything else so I'll say system dot out dot print and I'll simply say number divided by i so let's see what that prints as you guys can see it says 7 3 to 1 because it's integer division right we need to somehow typecast this so I'm gonna put this into a double variable and I'm gonna say the same thing number by i again and I'll print this result and see what comes out it's gonna be the same thing basically again it will print the same thing with the zeros remember the expression on the right hand side it's an integer we need to typecast it to double now this will give me the answer I need it will show the decimals and stuff so here in this expression if you guys can see there are only two numbers that is 7.0 and 1.0 which are exactly integers right that means if you take a seal of them I'm gonna use a seal I'll find the seal of every result and I'll show you what exactly happens now take a look at this there are only two of them that is 7.0 equals 7.0 and 1.0 is 1.0 rest all the seal and the answers are not matching right that means when there are two answers that match exactly it's a prime number otherwise it's not a prime number that's our simple trick so I'll use an if statement I'll say if result equals equals math dot seal and this should happen two times right so every time this happens we are gonna increase a counter by one we'll have a counter at the top we'll call it number of factors I'll say number of factors equals to initially zero but each time we say that the result and the math dot seal are the same I'm gonna increase the number of factors by one right I'll say number of factors plus plus at this point I'll go totally outside the for loop and I'll say that if the number of factors is two after dividing from one to seven so I'm gonna that's why I'm going outside the for loop because after dividing one to seven is important so I'll say system dot dot print ln yep it's a prime number otherwise I'll say else I'll simply copy paste and I'll say nope so let's go ahead control s shift f6 to run this it says yep it's a prime number let me remove the garbage in between I'll get all that print all in statements out now control s shift f6 says it's a prime number let's change the number from 7 to 6 run it again it says nope so as you guys can see here there are only two numbers which are perfectly integers after 7 by 1 is 7 and 7 by 7 is 1 and that's why the seal result is the same right so now I need to calculate this from all the numbers from 1 to 100 right so I'm gonna put it on inside another for loop the outer for loop will go from numbers 1 to 100 I'll say for int j equals to 1 in short I should start from 2 because 1 is neither prime nor composite something like that so j starts from 2 j goes up to 100 j plus plus though so here in each step inside the for loop j is going to be a number right so I'll copy paste this entire code which is for testing one number and I'll put it inside the outer for loop so that every number is going to be tested by this way right simple so now here j has become my number because j is 2 then j is 3 then j is 4 then j is 5 6 7 8 and it goes up to 100 right so in short wherever I have written number I'm going to write j because j is my number now so here I've written number I'm gonna replace that by j here again there's the number I'll replace that by j I'll say control s I'll print j again so I'll say j plus prime number now here is a bug 
number of factors needs to be reset for every number, right? Like if you test for 7, you say there are two factors. Then well, again, when you test for 8, you have to start from 0, right? So in that case, number of factors should become 0 after testing one number. And if, as you guys can see, this inner for loop where we test one number after that, we completely put number of factors equals to 0 again so that it is reset for the next number. So that again we can test for 8 or 9. And, and as you guys can see now, you have all the prime numbers coming up and you have a lot of nope, nope statements which I don't like. I'm going to remove that nope crap. I'm going to remove the else statements. And now if I run this, Control S, Shift F6, perfectly this is what we wanted from 2 to 100. All the prime numbers displayed perfectly. So I hope you guys understood something out of this. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know what you think about this. I love to hear from you guys. Stay tuned, gonna be making more complex vids. So I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.